Okay, let's talk about UDP and basically why. Why UDP and why moving away from serial. So I have the table set up here to try to make a video. Just kind of got it all in one pile in one place. But here's a steer board that's uh, connected via UDP. And over here is a basic house router. Now you don't have to use a router over here. like. The little white box there, that's just a dock that plugs into Type-C into the laptop. And that has USB and HDMI and Ethernet. And you can see the Ethernet's con connected to the, to the dock there. You can also just as easily use one of these guys, which is a four-port you know, Type-C plug-in hub. And that and you can plug all the devices into there. But the point is that whether you use a USB hub or whether you use an Ethernet hub, it really doesn't matter and if you have an ethernet built right into the computer then you don't need any of that either you can either just then just go straight to the the new gps steer board or you can still go into a switch but the point is that you can do anything you want you're not limited by one cable one connection with ethernet everything talks to everything and it that's why they call it a network so that it all just talks to each other so that's the basic setup from the computer you know, to a hub or a switch or a dock or a, or whatever you want, you know, and then off to the steer board and off to the machine board. Now we're going to focus mostly on the machine board on kind of how UDP works and disconnect and connect and, and also just how to program it and that sort of thing. And why basically are we switching to UDP or into Ethernet? So that's the gist for now. Okay, so this is the normal setup. You have Ag IO, you have Ag Open GPS, the main program, and here's an image of the machine module set up for relays, just two relays. So we turn one relay on, relay goes on, relay, relay goes off. And the wire's in the way, you can't see it. And the relay goes off. Really simple, two section system. Now in terms of Ag IO, this is the overall network, like we saw the router, we saw everything. This is the connection between this computer to that network. And if it's green, it's good. This is AgIO talking to AgOpenGPS and all the modules in the communication. This is all done locally inside the computer. Again, using UDP to talk from this application to this application is like a little mini network that goes back and forth called a loopback. You can look that up on Google and what that is. And that's just the internal network of the computer. So this guy talks to this guy, and this guy talks to this guy. So you can see this little in, and that's stuff coming out. And this is the box. So when we talk about the antenna, these are the values, or the numbers of bytes per second, that are going into the box. This is what's going out of the box. So this is what's coming out of auto steer. This is what's coming out out of the relay module. You can also now see that some of these boxes are green. I don't have an antenna hooked up, but I'll run a UDP simulator later and it'll it'll turn green. But if there's a connection, and again, this is the big plus of, of Ethernet, is if we disconnect the relay module, now you should go yellow, meaning, uh oh, there's a problem. So if we go click, click, nothing will happen. Now we all know what happens with, with USB, you have to reconnect it all, make sure it goes bing bong, hope that it connected, but with Ethernet, you just plug it back in again. Takes three seconds, and there. Now it just works. That right there is the very, very beauty of UDP. It's connectionless. I mean, it's still connected and it talks to each other, but it's not relying on a connection. If it's there, it'll answer the phone. If it left the phone in the truck and you're in the bin, well, it won't answer the phone. That's the way UDP is. There is some minuses to that. You, you don't know when it's disconnected. But then that's why we have these little green boxes. What, what uh, AgIO does is it sends a little PGN to the machine module and says, Hello, are you there? And the machine module answers back and says, Yes, I am. And if we get the yes, I am from sending the hello, then we turn the box green. If we, if we don't get the response, like obviously now the machine module can't get the response or can't get the request to, for the hello, it can't send it back. So AgI know, O knows that it's disconnected. Simple. 
little USB is just powering the thing for now. Okay, I have the machine INO open. That we use, of course, to use the program, the module. And what we're doing here is because we're using UDP, we can connect the serial port. And where is it? Where did it go? So we have the, the serial port connected and we have the Ethernet connected. So in the uh, when we're editing our INO and we have the, the serial monitor open, so right now we're printing out what is my active or my relay active high. Is it high or is it one or is it zero? And we're also printing the relay low value. So if we go back now to Ag Open GPS and go to the relays and turn invert off. Now watch the one turn to zero. See now it's set at 255 minus our relay value. It's just our straight relay value. So if we turn these guys off. Oh yeah. Do that way, don't you? If we turn these guys off, see now it's two. So that's the second bit position. If we turn this guy off, then it's zero. If we turn all three on, it should be seven. Bottom three bits are on. So that allows you to monitor and send out data to the serial monitor while you're developing the INO. So that is a huge advantage. Instead of connecting a tag IO, you know, with the USB and then running it and go, oh, oh no, it doesn't work. And then you come back into here and you have to disconnect it from ag IO and then connect it to the serial port and figure out some sort of serial to write to. Anyway, it this is just a thousand times better in terms of development. So that's why as developers, we really like to use the UDP and the internet or the, uh, the networking so that we don't have to connect the USB constantly to Egg Open GPS. Okay, let's suppose we wanted to add something else to this, like say speed. So we just copy that and delete that out. Double check what it's called, GPS speed. Remember that's sent 10 times to the value. And we can come down, we can just pick it. And then now we can compile it. There it's compiling. You can see down here. It shuts off the relays. Right now the little green light's programming the programming the thing. Turns battle back on. See there it connected to the internet. Or back, sorry, to the network. And we're back alive again. So now we have our speed. Eight, eight times 10 is 80. As we speed up and slow down, there you go. So now we can monitor our speed. Suppose we had, you know, developing and there was a problem with the speed. Well, this is so much easier. Again, we turn the relays on. If something's wrong, you just print it out to the serial port. Yes, you can debug it, but the debugger can sometimes be a bit of a bugger because it allows you, there's a bit more restricted. And this does it in real time where you can print out values. I go open GPS is always about running constantly. And sometimes a normal debugger, it doesn't show you that, you know, that fluid motion in a program. So just printing or a chart. I mean, that's why we have so many charts in I go open GPS is because it's a, almost a living, breathing sort of algorithm that everything keeps changing and you want to see the history. So that's where the advantage of a, of the COM port or the serial port monitor is really handy for this sort of thing. And you notice I don't have to reset anything. You know, I can I can reset the I the uh, our, the nano. You know, nothing, no problem. It stays connected. So that makes it really really reliable and and easy to use. So yes, I mean. Moving to UDP or networking it itself might sound scary, but really there is no difference. Instead of you plugging in a USB hub, you may be plugging in an Ethernet hub, you know, straight into USB, like a USB. And in terms of setting those up, it's really simple. Like here we have that hub plugged in, click on network, click on the Ethernet, and then we have it set and just click Here's the IP settings using dot five for the subnet. And then you edit and then you go save. And that's how you set up your hub. 
So 192.168.5 will be the new network. It formerly used to be 0.1, but making it something very unique allows you to use Ntrip on a different network and that sort of thing. So you can have two networks on your computer and use one for Ntrip and one for Ag Open GPS, and it keeps the flexibility open. But it, it, again, it's you just set this, and once you set it and save it, every time you plug in that, you know that network, it works. In fact, let's do that right now. If I unplug the network, where's Ag I O? Then of course everything stops working. If I plug them back in. It all comes back again. So it's tremendous flexibility. You just plug it in and it just works. If uh, if you use a Wi-Fi router like like I have here on the table, like a basic house router, you can use TeamViewer and connect your phone to the Wi-Fi router and use TeamViewer, view the view Ag Open GPS on your phone. You know, when you go back to the back of your sprayer, you can do this on your phone. You, now you're communicating with, with the Ag Open GPS network, and whatever you do in Ag Open GPS, you can do remotely on your phone. If you want to help, you know, if two people are in your field, and say your 80-year-old father is driving the other tractor, well, with TeamViewer, you can just log on to his router and run Ag Open GPS for him, fix his problem, and get on your way. So, I mean, for us, it's UDP is absolutely the way to go and just completely get away from USB and the USB problems and the noise associated with USB. This is, uh, I hope, <laughs> I hope this video made some sense. Oh, here, that's one thing, I, other thing we're going to do. Okay, so what we'll try to do is run a, a UDP sim. Now this would be like the UDP GPS antenna connected and infuse the heck out of it. We already have a steer board, so we don't need to emulate that. But as we drive now with the GPS, there we go. So now the GPS has signal coming in, has RTK going to it. Everything's connected, everything's green. So, yep, works pretty slick. Anyway, I'm sure there's a thousand questions, but um, that's a short introduction to, to UDP.